All right, we are live. Welcome everyone to Team Diesel Core's coaching sneak peek for the month of March. I can't believe it's already March. Um, my name is Monica Lopez and I am the founder of our team. I started coaching about, well, now in July is going to be 10 years. It's going to mark my 10 year anniversary as a coach. And I kicked off my journey, guys, seriously, as a mom of, at the time too, getting through my second pregnancy postpartum and wanting absolutely nothing to do with the coaching side of Beachbody. I was just simply a mom looking for a solution to get back in shape after having her second child and um, trying to figure out how to do it without having to leave the home. Because, you know, kid number one, you got a little lucky with getting people to watch the baby. But then when two came along, then you're like, I got to figure something out because, you know, my mom wasn't going to take two babies at the same time. And it was also hard to fit it all in. And that's when the first program ever landed in my hands. It was actually, I started with P90X, by the way, I started with burn DVDs, like back in the day when it used to be DVDs, um, because I was so adamant that I was not going to invest in anything. I would so I always used the excuse of I didn't have money or whatever, and it was easy to get burn DVDs from someone. But to tell you the truth, when those burn DVDs landed in my hands, actually before committing fully to Beachbody, I never did them. I think I did like a workout or two, and then they just collected dust, and I never used them again. But then by the time Jackson was born and I and I landed with getting my very first like invested into Beach Body program, which was Insanity the Asylum with Shanti. That's the one where I'll never forget. I actually put it on credit card. <laughs> I was taking the Metro Rail home and I remember texting my hub husband, like, I need this. I need this. Please let me do this and I'm going to make it worth it. And the rest is history. Here I am almost 10 years later. I gave my everything to that first program. It helped me get, you know, bounce back after having my, my second child in a way healthier way than I had done with the first baby. Um, my confidence boosted up very fast. I felt like I was in way more control of my life, especially as I'm now new mom of two just because I was giving myself that time to me first before doing all you know playing all the roles and that's where I really became a true believer in what we have to offer right at the very very base level the foundational level of the fitness and nutrition component of Beachbody like I knew it was something special and this is coming from a gym rat he used to be a gymnast I used to be cycling spinning like three four Five times a week, I would go to classes. I was, I mean, I was always in the gym. Um, and this was a big shift for someone like me. And then I'll tell you that the business part kind of landed on my lap because my, my family business is preschools. So when I was going to pick up the, the kids from the, the preschool and the moms were seeing me rapidly transform after having the baby and the postpartum, you know, I call it the postpartum project was like, uh, like just going right before their eyes. Like that's when I started getting questions and me being someone who wanted nothing to do with the business. And when I realized, okay, well, organically, I'm inspiring the next person with what I'm doing. I know it's something that saved me. And I know that others can do it too. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And then I just started talking about it. And like that, it's organically started to flow into a business for me. That has evolved um, for many years. Like I said, did it part-time. I was a paralegal in my past life, but in 2000, woo, oh my gosh, I think it's going to be six years or seven years ago, I retired myself as a paralegal and I ended up coming home to work this business full blown. And that didn't come off of a fluke. It actually came, we were heard, you know, in life, like sometimes your, your test becomes your testimony. Um, I ended up getting pregnant with my third child and I was excited because I said to myself, well, with this baby, now I know what to do. Like I was already into, into working out from home. I knew exactly what I could do. I knew how to keep myself healthy. And I was excited about that postpartum project being able to be completely a beach body pregnancy and a beach body um, postpartum um, journey. But my child was born with, um, it, it was a, is a kind of tumor. It's called a hemangioma. It's a benign tumor. Um, it's prevalent in infants, but in my daughter's case, it was behind one of her eyes and intertwined in one of her eye muscles. Um, in fact, when we caught it, she was about three or four weeks old. It was already pushing her eye out of its socket. And it was such a terrible time um, in my life, very scary time, because I remember them telling me like, she's, we cannot do surgery in her. We will, we will definitely nick something and leave your daughter blind. Um, 
And at the same time, they had no true treatment for her except an experimental drug and an experimental treatment that wasn't even FDA approved just yet that I had to, that was, that was gonna, that was plan A through Z for my daughter. And in this time, thinking that, you know, in my head, Beachbody at that moment was just still me doing this kind of like a part-time hobby gig. It earned me some extra income. You know, I got to work with really amazing women and I had fun with it. All of a sudden, when this happened with my daughter, Mia, and I was not able to, um, you know, I had to go back to work. I was not able to go to with her because her treatment was about six months long. Um, and I had to be in the hospital once a week to administer this drug and have to do all these ultrasounds and everything and to keep track of the tumor, make sure that it wasn't um, damaging her eye. I had to go back to work and I had to send my mom, my sister, my husband, like so many people in my life to fill my shoes at so many doctor's appointments because they were once a week and I had to go back to work. And this was the moment, guys, where I looked at what I was doing with Beachbody and not only had it was I obviously a big believer because it helped me gain my, you know, gain myself back after every child that I had. And, you know, and it just gave me the self-confidence that I, re I remember. Like, and for me, it's like it's the foundation to everything. But then here I was now as a mom who was having to choose between being there for her child and bringing home an income, right? Because at that time, my home income was 50-50, me and my husband. I had to go back to work and I had to figure out how to, to, to financially help my family while having a sick baby. And guys, that was like my turning point where I looked at my business and I looked what I was doing with Beachbody and I looked at, and I remember going to like one of these events that Beachbody hosts, you know, it's, it's the biggest conference of the year. And I went on a fluke and I was like, I want to check what this you know, whole thing is about. And when I saw all these women crossing the stage and talking about not just the fitness, which the fitness is such a beautiful part, but what they were able to build off of that and the kind of life that they, you know, they were, they were chasing and this business that they were building, I remember, I mean, I was with my husband and we both, he kind of looked at me. I mean, I remember saying like, wow, that's, that's really cool. I, I feel like I could do that. But it, like the nail in the coffin for me was when my husband looked at me, he said, why not you? You should be able to do that. And that coupled with what we went with, what happened with Mia, that's when all of a sudden I looked at this beach body thing that I was just doing as a hobby, doing as a side gig, doing for fun. I took my job as a paralegal very seriously. I worked so hard to get where I had gotten in the firm that I worked for. Um, but that was my turning point. And that's where I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this my all because I didn't want to ever feel like that mom again. I had to choose between being at work and actually being there for one of my kids. And that left me just with like this, this thing in the pit of my stomach that I never wanted to be in that predicament again. And that was the fuel to my fire. That's the fuel to my fire still today. Um, I talk about it all the time. This business has allowed me not just to still, here we are 10 years later and I'm in amazing shape. I, I, you know, I live life. We do all the things we travel, we have fun, but I'm still able to always reel it back when it comes to my health and fitness. Um, I love it. I have fun with it. I've met, met so many amazing people, but then on top of that, it's also then created this lifestyle um, and this business for my family and I, where we don't just now have a financial freedom that I never had because before or we were making it right we would have bills and have income and it would just be like this perfect cycle of paying the bills and 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 you know earning money and paying the bills we had no savings we we had no investments we had no um nothing that we were envisioning and goals and all this kinds of stuff and this business gave me the ability like it took the, the lid off of the life that I was living and allowed me to grow outside of that and not only the financial freedom of getting out of debt and being able to do, you know, so many things that, are, you know, make our house a home. Because back then I even had rooms in my house that didn't even have furniture because we were always trying to like, you know, figure out how we could save money to buy the next, you know, fix the house the way we wanted it. But then now I could also tell you almost 10 years later that it's also provided me with a time freedom. Today, today, the moniker you're looking at today, not only have I built this business from the ground up and I, you know, and I, I, I you know, probably doesn't guarantee any kind of income, but I, I remember the day I left that $60,000 job and I thought to myself, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I even had like family, like what, you know, what are you telling my husband, what is your wife doing? To now almost the seventh year in a row, a six figure income coming in because of this business, the, an income I would have never seen in the cubicle. And again, Beachbody does not guarantee any kind of income. It, it, it's dependent on your efforts and your vision and your goals and how hard you work, but it's there for the taking. And when I realized it, I ran after it. And today 
that has created not just this business that's given me the time freedom to be home to grow this business from anywhere that I'm at. But now I could also share with you guys at the end of 2019, my husband was able to then retire himself from his job and start building his own company, which was my husband's dream. And it was such a full circle moment for me because I was able to turn around and look at my husband and be like, now, why not you, <laughs> right? Why not you? You could do it too. And here we are still today building his startup company, which is so amazing. But that's 10 years in a nutshell for me. Tonight, I know you're here and you have something inside of you, whether it's the fitness that you realize you know what? It's changing me. I feel different. More people need to get their hands on this. More people need to feel the way I'm feeling. Maybe you haven't even started your, your, your fitness program. or you haven't even tried Shakeology. It's like shipping, but your coach told you, you know what? Maybe you want to think about becoming a coach because for whatever it is that you share with them, but you know that something has led you here, that you need something more and you're looking for a solution. If you're that Monica who just couldn't see past her own nose, it just need to feel better know that there's a place for you. If you're in that bind where, like I remember, $200 more a month meant a lot to my family. It would have alleviated a lot of little, you know, phone calls from the husband, like you got your nails done again, you didn't tell me, oh my gosh, we almost overdrew, and you know, because that's the life we were living before. It was still teamwork, but, but we had to pinch every penny. So then maybe you're that mom, and I don't know, but maybe you're here today because it's your rock bottom and you have to figure something out. I want you tonight to listen in. It's not going to be just me talking, right? I've got my girl, Michelle Perella here tonight, who has an amazing story that she'll be sharing with you as well. Um, Michelle has some more tenure in the business. She was actually a premier coach last year, which is the ranking of the top 3% of the entire company. And we are 400,000 coaches strong in Beachbody. And she ranked in the, three, uh, the third percent. So you're going to hear from her, but you're not going to only hear from her, but you're also going to be hearing from Gina Johnson, who's on this call. And Gina Johnson, I got to meet her for the very first time just a week ago at our team's retreat. And she just captured my heart and hearing her talk just this Saturday morning to our team. We had a, by the way, when you join our team, you're going to be privy to these coach coffee dates and new coach trainings. And we're always doing fun things and health bets. And we just, we keep it fun and we keep it spicy. But on Saturday morning, hearing Gina talk to the new coaches on our team, I was like, no, you, you, you got, I need you on this call tonight with us. So you're going to also be hearing from Gina and she's going to talk to you about her journey and her story. But tonight, what we want you to walk away with is understanding who coaches are, what we do, right? How we do it, what tools you have at your expense by becoming a coach, the community and team you have behind you too, because you're not going to be in this alone. And then lastly, I think the big elephant in the room most times is like, well, how the hell do you make money, right? How, show me the money, how is it made? And we're going to break that down for you too, right? Um, we're going to break that down at a very elementary level, but we want you to walk away understanding there's an income potential here, right? And I think that it's such a beautiful cycle in this business. And it's what I hold on to most. And this is what I carry around. I believe in this business so much because I've never encountered something where working on yourself, that foundational piece of being just elevating your life in so many arenas builds a business. It's almost required. It is required to level up, right? In so many ways that then serves you. And it's just this perfect circle of power. And so tonight, listen with an open heart open mind because we've got so much to share with you and we also have a place on our team for you and we are constantly looking for more women to lock arms with and keep this movement this movement forward where we understand that we are in total control of our lives and we can lift off the lid and dream bigger right and this this business is definitely a vehicle to do that so without further ado i'm going to bring on michelle are you there michelle where are you at where are you at me hey, hey, hey. Her name is Beach, but at the retreat, another side of her came out when, when Uncle Luke came on and she was Lil Mimi. So this is Michelle Varela, AKA Meech, AKA Lil Mimi. <laughs> so let me, actually, I think I have to make you a host so that you can share your screen, but go ahead and take it away while I make oh, you. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to bring up this. Oh, you want me to bring it? I can bring it up. Girl, I got you. Okay. I'll bring it up. Perfect. Well, go ahead and take it away and I'll get your screen up. All right. Well, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Like she said, I'm Michelle. She renamed me Meech. <laughs> I've, I've known Monica for five years and that's how long I've been a Beachbody coach. And my family actually growing up called me Mimi. 
Um, so feel free, call me whichever, you know, is it, I got three names, whichever one you want to go by. So like I said, I started my business five years ago and I actually, my story is a little different than Monica. And I think that's so important because no matter who comes in to, to do this business, like it doesn't have to look the same for, for everybody. And it never really does. So that's really important. I actually was a pediatric emergency room nurse for 13 years. And when Beachbody fell in my lap, I was at a point in my life where I was a tired AF, like I want to say the F word (laughs) to emphasize it, but I was an extremely tired mom of three. And uh, back then I'm actually a mom of four now. And, um, I just needed something to get me out of bed, to get me excited. I needed, I I was barely eating, like my, I was active growing up and I just lost that, right? I I got lost in that hamster wheel of momhood, working 12 hour ER shifts and I was just exhausted. And um, Beachbody and the programs and committing to, to the nutrition and psychology and the workouts, just one program after another, like changed my world, changed my world and has kept things exciting for me um, all these years. Um, And then simultaneously, when I came into the business, just a quick little backstory, um, I had went part-time at work because my husband's a fireman, you know, we weren't like, you know, pinching all kinds of pennies but we were in this like weird place in our in and in, in time in in our life and in this pivotal moment where we had our third baby we had just bought a house we barely saw each other because a nurse and a firefighter schedule were like single parenting high-fiving each other in and out you know of the of the door and you know he's working 24 hour shifts and me working full time like we literally saw each other one day a week and he was like getting off shift and he was exhausted. So we made the sacrifice for me to take a part-time job at work so we can, you know, see each other, right? Have a little bit of family time, but that came a sacrifice. So we lost some income. And at the same time, we have bought a house, like, you know, you go to Home Depot, the credit card bills start adding up and we kind of started digging ourselves in a hole. So this not only um, bridged a gap for me, like, for my mental state, because I was, you know, kind of like spiraling, um, a little depressed and just needing like female friend interaction, like all the things like this business serve, like can serve, like I needed it all. I needed the friendships. I needed the health and needed the fitness. So it filled that gap for me personally. And then when I started realizing, um, what the business opportunity had to offer, I, I decided I wanted to, I like went full in, like I knew, like I knew I wanted to not only use these programs to get healthy and fit, but I wanted to start, you know, bridging an income gap for me and my family, like right away. So I like started off like guns blazing <laughs> when I, when I, uh, started my first program and, and opened up for business doing this. Um, and then just fast forward really quick. I never personally thought I would do this full time. Like I remember meeting Monica and I was like, that's really great for her. Like I'm really happy for her that she could do this. And it's cool that she can work from home and like be there for her kids whenever. But like I became a nurse. Yes, I have a servant heart, but like I became a nurse because I need stability. Like in my mind, like I network marketing, you know, was like, it, it was it, to me it was kind of sketchy like I didn't really know much about it and and I thought it was great for her but I never thought that this would be something I could do full time until <laughs> until COVID 2020 happened um like I said I was a pediatric ER nurse our children's hospital like literally closed our emergency room department for children's like went from this big department to this tiny little thing and so many changes happen and they were forcing us to to work with other um, types of patients and adult patients and I was fortunate enough last year that three months into quarantine and the pandemic when they started telling me how to go here there and all these places that I wasn't comfortable with and the training was going to be bare minimum and all these conditions I was like you know what I am just not happy and I cannot practice, I ha- you know, my specialty the same way anymore. And I made a tough decision and I was like, wow, I am so freaking happy that I have been building my Beachbody business all those years because circumstances change. And this business, I, I never would have thought it would be the thing that saved me. I, I thought I never thought I would be in a situation like that. So um, I was able to walk away from nursing 
last summer and I've been doing this full time now for nine months and don't get me wrong I have you know I have built a, my business before being able to do that so it does like Monica said it's not guaranteed anything this is a legitimate business where you have to work so I was able to do that and my I'm actually the founder of Hero Nation and it's really it's really special and near and dear to my heart because I was pregnant at 17 I you know had my first daughter then and I um finished nursing school by the age technically technically by the age of 21 got my license at 22 and was like on my own I was in a really toxic relationship for five years like I've been through some shit like sorry for my bad language and um I founded Hero Nation because you know and then you know my, my my life changed and I became you know a mom and married and that whole life and my life like turned out pretty good but I still like, I, I realized that I still needed to save myself, like with that place I was in, you know, that I explained to you when I started, you know, telling you about my story. And I said, well, man, if I could do all those things in my past, like I can do this too. Like to be on my team, to, hear, to be on Hero Nation, you have to want to be like the hero of your own story because no one is going to do it for you. So that's like a standard. And I'm pretty, and honestly, like that is a standard for, for Diesel Nate, Diesel Core, Monica's team. Like we are all some pretty awesome ladies that just like want to do, want to feel better and do better and like make an impact in this world um, because with this, with this platform, because it's changed our lives so much. Um, so without further ado, who coaches are, I kind of like covered it already, but we are like, we come from all walks of life. I, like I said, I was a nurse, Monica was a paralegal, like we've got teachers, we've got lawyers, we've, you, you know, there, whether you could be a real estate agent, it doesn't matter where like you are in your life. Like, the, like she said, there's a place for you. Um, and honestly, like, I think it's really special that people come into this business with from all these different backgrounds because you you really have like a unique opportunity to, to connect with your people like Monica's people aren't my people and my people aren't Monica's people and that's really special and we all understand that right and um just a, a, a also Monica you want me to did you want me to cover what we do also or you want me to jump into this because you Sorry, I was trying to unmute myself. I couldn't find the button to unmute myself. Um, I, I, I'm not sure if that comes up in the next slides, but it, up to you. Go. You're the boss. Okay, cool. So like I said, we just all, wherever, whatever walk of life you come from, we all do have one goal and, and one like major purpose. And, and that is to um, inspire other people, right? our journey, our health journey, and us living our best life is the foundation of our business. And we just want to inspire people. We give hope to other people, right? That if we can do this, um, they can too. Um, and we guide others. We lead by example, by using our programs and um, living, you know, our life like the best that like the best we can and doing our best. Um, and okay, so I'm going to jump into because I had a lot of <laughs> I was a big skeptic. Like I said, when I met Monica, I was like, that is great for her. So let's debunk a few, a few myths that a lot of people think, because there are a lot of network marketing, you know, businesses out there. And, um, I just want to, you know, make sure that, that you guys, if you guys are looking at some of these things and you're thinking, man, I think that, I think that I'm going to bust a few myths for you. So a lot of people, when they come into, um, you know, they want to, or they want to think about, you know, starting a business, they, they join our groups and our, our boot camps and our online accountability groups. They're like, oh, I don't want to do, you know, I don't think I can coach because I'm not at my fitness school. And honestly, it is like the furthest thing from the truth. You actually have a really unique opportunity by taking somebody on your journey. Um, and it's really inspiring to show people that you can start in this place and you can walk them through what it's like to actually consistently like make a, a positive change. So you don't have to wait to be at a fitness school and honestly, your goals never end. Like you finish, we finish a program and we move the goalposts, right? Um, and maybe it's weight loss right now, but next year you hit your weight loss goal. And then it's, you know, you want to get stronger, whatever the case is. You want to run a, a 10K, you know? So it, taking people on the journey is kind of like watching a movie, right? Like if you 
um, want to do this business and you think you have to wait till you get to your goal. It's like asking someone to watch the first five minutes of a movie and then skipping to the end. Like they miss all the nitty gritty and like all the important stuff. And it, it like detaches the emotion. And that's like the biggest thing that we do as Beachbody coaches is we, um, we tie into emotion and, and why we do this, right? Not just what we do, but why. Um, and I don't want to be salesy. Like I mentioned before, um, I like I, I went into nursing because I knew it was a secure job. And I also came into this like, oh, I don't, I don't want to like scare people away. I don't want people to think like I just want to sell them something. And honestly, what we do is pretty cool. And it's very authentic because when you start to transform your life, it becomes very organic. Like Monica said, people, you know, ask you, what are you doing? Like you, I, I remember walking in to work and I just started after doing my my first program and I walked in with like a pep in my step and all the nurses are like what are you doing <laughs> you know what I mean and and it catches people people's eye and and so it becomes this organic process and honestly at the very beginning as a brand new coach your marketing plan honestly is to share this with your friends and family it really is like I am not going to sugarcoat it and it's it, it's it's for a reason it's because those are the people that already trust you know you like you but eventually when you start to grow and evolve you start to figure out the kind of people that you want to serve because your friends and family aren't the people that you're going to be serving to take this business to the next level in long term you are going to figure out right like who you want to serve you can be a real estate agent and you know what you feel like whatever stressors you have in the real estate market that can be your you, you know the people that you speak to and you serve and you give them value every single day because we work a lot off social media and um and then when you throw in what you do to stay healthy and fit and to deal with that type of lifestyle it just becomes this organic thing where people want to work with you because you add value to their life so I don't have a lot of time I mean uh, most of us started this business working in pockets, you know, 15 minutes here on a pee break at work there on a lunch break at work there, you know, waking up a little earlier to get a workout in um, before a 12 hour shift is what I, you know, I used to do. And then, you know, maybe staying up an extra hour later to to um, put in some business building activities. But I'm a mom of four. And even though I do this full time now, I'm still busy as heck. And I still have to kind of work in pockets, but it's possible. And who am I to motivate it's really not your job to motivate anybody or drag anyone. Your job is to do you and whoever, like I said, you know, you are, you are there to serve. Um, those are the people that you're going to inspire um, and are going to want to do this with you. And it's too expensive. I call major bullshit. I used to do CrossFit. It was like over a hundred dollars a month to, to go to classes when I didn't get any personal training. I didn't get any um, nutrition. I never got any results because like I just, I didn't, the nutrition aspect was gone and I was paying over a hundred dollars a month. Um, I have paid for a personal trainer and, and like, I was dependent on them. I, again, I still didn't learn how to eat. Like what we have to offer, which um, maybe Jean is going to talk about like the tools we have. It is like ridiculous. Like what we get for the, for what we pay, like to, to, and to have access to on our Beachbody on demand platform. And um, I don't have a big following, like none of us did. Like I used to be able to scroll Instagram when I started my business, like five times, I would see what everyone was up to for the day. And like, it, it turned into yesterday's post. And like, that was it. Like, it's something that, you know, within our team that, and, and that you, um, will learn to grow. It's like going to school. Like I didn't learn how to be a nurse in four years. Like I learned how to, to build this business, not just by talking to people in my everyday life. Cause you network with people right in your everyday life, but you also will like right through the trainings on our team, learn how to, how to build a business on social media. And it's changing. Like what worked six months ago, isn't working now. And we're really good about, you know, our team has been around for, like she said, 10 years. So we're really good about keeping up to date on, on how things change with social media. So, and how you can grow a following. And is this a pyramid scheme? No, it's not. I would not leave up for you yeah, a, a, a nursing, um, a nursing career to do a pyramid scheme. And really, honestly, if you looked it up, a pyramid scheme is like trading money. Like there's no product involved. It's like giving money to money. And what's really cool about our business and our compensation plan, which I, I'm not going to cover someone else. Well, you'll, you'll see that we'll touch on it briefly that like some, someone, I, you know, one of you can, can join my team right t tomorrow. And then 
if I, you know, don't work as hard and you work harder than me, you can surpass me. Like, it's really cool. Honestly, to me, the corporate world is a pyramid scheme. There was only one manager. There was only one CEO. And um, the way our compensa compensation plan works, like the sky is a limit for every single person that wants to work for it. Uh, is this me? What coaches do? So, okay, I kind of like covered a lot of this already, but I'll, I'll touch on it really quick. So being a product of the product, using our programs, our fitness programs, our nutrition programs that are, by the way, designed by professional nutritionists and dietitians. Like this isn't a drink, two crappy shakes a day and eat a salad type of thing. This is like learning how to live a healthy life, eating food, like all the food groups, right, with our amazing nutrition plans, with the ultimate portion fix nutrition system, we have another one called to be mindset, and just living the life and getting results. That's what being a, a product of the product is and showing people that this system and this platform works and can change your life and can change our life. Um, inviting and sharing, I, I kind of talked about that already, right at the beginning, you you know, you share, um, you share what you're doing to stay healthy and fit how it's changing you from the inside out. And um, you invite people to join our accountability groups. We have amazing, an amazing platform within Beachbody On Demand, if you're not familiar with it. It's a tracking system that we um, share tips and we, you invite people, right, to do this with you um, and support people, right? And link arms with people that like wanna run with you and, and use our programs to get healthy and fit. And personal development, this is something that was so foreign to me, like, um, you know, you can call it self-help, you can call it that foofy, whatever um, mindset stuff, but honestly, personal development changed my life. I would not be here in this business and been through all the things I've been through in the last five years because there are ebbs and flows, just like any traditional business or any job. Like there was crappy moments in my nursing career, but personal development has, and what it is, it's just basically reading books and audio for things uh, things that, that are you're in need of, whether it's tackling anxiety, whether it's tackling Tackling, you know, um, mindset, like it's, it's insane. Honestly, personal development has changed me so much in this business has changed me, not just like personally, but as a mom, like my, I have two older girls that are athletes and not knowing how to work your mind, like a muscle, like, and figuring out how to realize things are happening for you and not to you, like is really, really special and personal development helps you build that muscle. I like to call it, I heard this quote recently, personal development is like the guardian of your mind. And so it's very important that if, if these things align with you, like we're on the same wavelength <laughs> and recognition, we're, we're really, um, we're really big on recognizing people for doing a good job, like, um, uh, and how, and um, celebrating each other. And um, whether it's, you know, losing five pounds, buttoning your pants up or hitting big business goals, we're really big on recognizing each other. And that's really special because I know a lot of people come from certain uh, careers that they felt like they worked their ass off and they didn't get compensated for it. They didn't get recognized for it. They didn't even get thank you for it. So we're really big on that. Um, and how we do, is this me too? Okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right. So let me move this so I can see this little checklist here. All right. So our tools, oh, they are so awesome. <laughs> we have what I like to call the total solution. There is nothing, honestly, in my opinion out there, like what we have to help not only ourselves get help, get and stay healthy and fit, but to help other people. Um, you know, a lot of people have a misconception too. Like I'm not a personal trainer. Like I'm not a fitness expert. How can I help people? Like you don't have to be, and you shouldn't, right? Like your job is to connect with people emotionally and like be real, like, like, like you're a normal person. Um, and because Beachbody has like this complete platform that does all that work for us. We have Beachbody On Demand, if you're not familiar with it, it is like the Netflix for nutrition and fitness. Like I said, not just fitness programs, we have hundreds and hundreds of programs, um, but you have access to our two premium nutrition programs. Like I mentioned before, they're created by uh, nutritionists and dietitians that teach people how to eat all the food groups, right? Um, how to make healthy substitutions and choices like this like we have so many resources within Beachbody on demand like it's insane um we have Shakeology which is our superfood shake our whole our daily dose of dense nutrition is what we like to call it. I've been drinking it every day for five years I know Monica has been drinking it 
for almost 10 years. And yeah, almost it's, 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 it's so it's not just a protein shake, like it is a whole foods based drink, which was by the way, co created if you're not familiar um, by Darren O'Lean, he's the co host of the Netflix series, um, down to earth on Netflix, like this guy has spent his entire life searching for like premium search across the world, searching for superfoods like Beachbody is is does not short change the quality of our products. And that's one of the biggest reasons, honestly, why I'm still here is because I don't feel like they're just trying to put stuff out there to make a buck like they make sure things um are of good quality before they bring it to us and um i covered nutrition bog group bog groups i mentioned a little bit before it's our tracking system so when you're inviting people to join your accountability groups and do programs with you bog groups is our platform within beach body on demand where people can track their workouts log their workouts log their shakes they have this nutrition feature where if you're using our ultimate portion fix system which is the cute little cutter, color coded container so you you can track how many you're supposed to be eating per day like you can plug that in like everything is virtual and at like your fingertips now um and something that's really special to our personal to our team is we have uh something called the no snooze crew virtual gym so if you're that person that doesn't want to work feels lonely working out alone or that's you know that's not your thing you can log into our our diesel core no snooze crew um every single morning it's a zoom link and you can find us ladies working out there together and so that way you're not alone so you have that support and then on the business aspect we have um our coach online office which by the way as a coach you we pay a 15.95 monthly coach fee which is like your overhead it covers so many things we don't deal with um inventory like when you invest when you become a coach you invest in the tools that you need only to get yourself healthy and fit and that's it you don't have to hold inventory um our coach online office has tons of media and resources and trainings and it it keeps track of all of our customers and our coaches and our compensation like it keeps track of everything our websites like beachbody has made all those things for us they also it, that fee also covers not just the coach online office but it covers um uh by returning stuff. Oh my God. Customer service, customer service. <laughs> we don't deal with returns. All we do is deal with helping people. Right. <laughs> um, also personal to our team. We have a new coach training, no co new coach Academy. It's self-paced, which, you know, you can do, you can, you can do this business however you want. If you want to take five years to build this business, you do it at your pace. You can same thing with our training. And like I said, we're always like having team calls, um, Every single month, um, we have pop-up calls, um, like we had a guest speaker tonight, um, and uh, we have a team page that you'll get to um, be able to be a part of in our, fa our Facebook group. So I hope I, I, hope I covered it all. <laughs> you so did. Thank you so much for that, Michelle. So I hope you guys gathered from what Michelle shared, how basically we are in collaboration with a company that has all the resources all of everything that all the, the the technology, all the customer service, all the back end stuff for you to grow this business, and then the team side of what we do, right? Then now specific to Team Diesel Core, which is the team that you'd be joining. How you have also the support of the community, right, and of the place to show up to, and of the added training and the added of coming together and working together. So thank you so much for that, Misha. That was so perfect. Now I'm going to cover and share with you guys exactly how we earn as coaches. I think that's like always the elephant in the room of this all sounds great. I'm ready to do all the things, but how exactly is it that I earn an income through the coaching opportunity? All right. So first and foremost, there are four main ways to earn as a coach. Okay. And in the most common one that people know about, or that they automatically associate what we do with is the retail commission. So yes, there's the ability to help someone get started with anything that we have to offer. And we have everything to offer from nutrition to obviously workouts to having, you know, swag, um, equipment, uh, supplements, like all the things you will earn anywhere between 25 to 30% off of those sales that you help someone get started with. Right now it's 25 for any individual item. And just like a little, um, tidbit fun fact, you get 30%. So your commission gets up to 30% when you help someone with what we call a challenge pack or a completion pack. 
These are bundled packages that do not, and I love this. I'm, I'm, I'm a dinosaur in this business. So I know what it was like, life was like before challenge packs and now after. Bundling it allows someone to get the total solution without cutting any corners. Because so often you'll hear people say, well, I want to work out, but I don't want to drink that shake. Like I want to eat food. That was me, right? I was like, I don't want the shakes. I just want to eat my food. Thank you very much. And I'll just work out. But I didn't realize I was very ignorant to what Shakeology was. And I didn't understand the power of it. I didn't understand how it was way more than just a shake. And it definitely wasn't a meal replacement for me. It was an added daily dose of dense nutrition that my body needed. So that when I started doing these workouts, my body was operating at its optimum level, being fed at the cellular level and the probiotics and the, the muscle repair and all of the things that come from Shakeology. So we prevent someone from cutting out the Shakeology and realizing like how much they need it. Same as it would happen also reverse where people will be like, well, I just wanna drink the shake. I'll probably have like four shakes a day and I'll eat one meal that'll probably be like a salad and I should be okay. And then they're like, they don't want to sweat. They don't want to put in the work. And you say, no, we're not going to do it that way, right? We're going to break all those bad habits and those quick fixes. We're going to do this the right way. We're going to sweat it out together, right? At, at least 30 minutes a day for maybe five, to, four to five days a week. You're going to drink this daily dense, dense shake, right? I'm going to teach you how to eat four to five meals a day because we're not starving, right? We're, we're kind of working against gnawing off our arms for food, right? And we are doing this the right way, the sustainable way, the way where long-term results stick, right? And so as a coach, I, this is why I love this company so much. As a coach, they upped our commission. If we could get someone started and inspire them to start without cutting any corners, they would get, we would get 30% commission versus 25% commission on the, on the, uh, on the sale. And for the customer, bundling it all together, guess what? They gave them a 30% discount off of everything, the total package to the customer. Beachbody comes out losing on that deal, right? They're giving out more money over here and they're discounting more money over here. But they knew that if they did it this way, you would have people who were getting results and the right way. Right. So that's the beautiful part. And that's the kind of the history behind our retail commission, which is, is actually really high for a lot. Of, a lot of times when you talk to companies that are multi level marketing companies, the the um, the retail commission rate is not as high. And I love that they give back to us coaches and they incentivize us to get people started the right way. Now, the second way, oops, past one, the second way to earn, right? And this is probably another common, um, common knowledge of the, the business and the way to the earn is what we call residual income. They say residual income is kind of like the income that you earn while you sleep, meaning it's not just you. It's not just your manpower now starting to build an income, but there's an income potential that is the me and we. It is you and the team you start growing. So right now, you're on this call to potentially be a coach on our team, right? Your coach invited you here today. They're looking to build their team because they want to build an army of people and they don't want to be a one-man army. They want to get out there and touch as many lives as possible. And they know, just like Michelle said, my people are my people. Michelle's people are my people. People are going to gravitate to Gina for her story. They're going to gravitate to Jen for her story because we're, we are all so different and unique. And that is our superpower. In this business, you being you is your superpower. And it's a beautiful thing when you start to build a team where now it creates also a team producing income that you benefit from as you start to grow um, your team of coaches. I'm not going to go into exactly how you earn this because it's not going to make sense until you're in the business and you start to see your team build out and you start to see the numbers. But think of it this way, that everything that we um, is purchased through Beachbody has a point value. And every time your points add up to a certain ratio, you cash out a bonus. And that bonus becomes your what we call team cycle um, bonus. For me, what does it look like 10 years into this business? 10 years into this business, my income on a weekly basis, five, about approximately 5% of my income is retail commission. The other 95% of what I make a week in this business comes from my team. So that's the power of not being a one-man army. In the beginning, we all kind of start here where retail commission is 100% of what we are bringing in. But as you start to build a team, you start to see the pendulum kind of switch like this. And that's where you see the power of having a team and having people behind you now creating a movement forward, okay? So that's the residual income potential. 
Then there's also the matching bonus, which this one's really freaking stinking cool because there's no cap on this, this um, kind of income. And this one's based off of the, now the coaches that you bring onto your team, when they start to build the team, you get to match, you get a 10% matching bonus for every bit of residual income they they earn. So my sister, Veronica Cavalcante, she's on this call. She's one of my rock star coaches, right? By the way, it only took my sister four years to join me. It was worth the wait because she is a killer leader on our team. And because I'm my sister's coach and she's building a team that today, like locked in today is number 169 in the entire company of 400,000 coaches. What she earns and her and her team, what they create is also, now I get to get the, the matching bonus is 10% of that income just for being her coach. It takes away nothing from her. It's her and her team kicking ass. And because I'm her coach and I'm right there in the trenches with them, I also earn a matching bonus. That's a pretty cool thing to me, right? This business is sincerely built off of my wins are my team's wins. My team's wins are my wins. It's a beautiful cycle. It takes away from no one and we are actively growing this together. So leaders of leaders, you then start tapping into what we call the matching bonus. And then the last main way, by the way, these four are not the only ways. These are just the main ways to earn in this business. There's different little fun bonuses that you can shoot for as well that you'll learn along the way. But this last one, it's called the quarterly bonus. And this one is as you start to grow in rank in the business, right? It'll, you'll get your first one at, at two star diamond, right? So my girl, Lauren, Laura, where are you at? Lauren's on this call. She's qualifying right now for her two star diamond bonus. Her and her team are killing it. That'll be the first bonus that she will achieve at that rank. She'll also, by the way, at that rank, get an, a new business center, which means she gets to kind of franchise herself, which is super, super stinking cool. But Quarterly bonuses happen at two star, then it happens at five star, then it happens at 10 star, and it happens at 15 star, superstar diamond, right? Which is the top possible rank you can achieve in one business center. And you have no limit on how many business centers you can achieve in this business. These bonuses, they're life-changing. Let me tell you, they can range anywhere between $800 to $1,000 to the 15 star bonus being $50,000. And these bonuses are given out every quarter, every quarter quarter. So this is extraordinary because I'll never forget. I'm going to give you one more little tidbit about my, 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 um, my story. When I had Mia and when Mia was sick and I couldn't go back to work, you know, or I was missing a lot of time and, and, and burning through all my personal time, I'll never forget being called in for that yearly bonus, right? And that yearly raise that they were giving us, which by the way, was like 1%. It was probably a quarter more on my paycheck. And the bonus was nothing great but they denied it for me. They looked at me and said, Monica, we love you, we value you, you're great, but unfortunately you just haven't been here enough this year to achieve getting this raise or getting this bonus. And here I thought to myself, you value me, you care about me. And I'm a mom who is going through something so hard right now with medical bills stacking up. And now is when I'm being stripped of this. That hurt me but I always carry that fire in my belly. And this right here, the quarterly bonus, every time my team and I earn this, I say to myself, this is me taking control of my life. This is me saying, you know what? No one's going to dictate whether I have to be a mom today or, or, or you know, apparently go to my, or whatever, a boss today and whatever role I have to play, I'm in control of my bonus <laughs> and it's coming home to mama, right? So this is a beautiful thing for me. And I hold these, these quarterly bonuses near and dear to my heart. But what I want you to walk away understanding is that there is many ways to earn this business, not just the retail commission that a lot of people think, right? And I also love about this business, we have what's called Success Club built into the business. This is the monthly recognition program where the foundational activities of your business are, are basically tracked, right? And you're able to be become what we call either a success starter or a success club earner by helping three, literally three, one, two, three people a month this is the, the metric system to build your business, right? So right now if you're on this car, you're saying, okay, well, I get it. I understand what, how to, to work this business, the tools I have. I understand how to earn, but what's like a good goal? What, what should I look towards doing? A new coach probably puts in an hour to two hours a day into their business, and they have this foundational goal of three people that they help a month. Right now, I'm sure you guys could reach out to me, three people that right now you know need this right now. That would kickstart your business. You do that month to month. And I always love that about Beachbody because for example, for example, if you wanted to make $1,000 a week in this business, think about a 30% commission, 
a challenge pack ranges around 160 bucks for the base pack. That's about a $50 commission off that sale, right? Getting someone started with that challenge pack. If you wanted to make $1,000 a week in this business, but yet one challenge pack earned you $50, think about how building a team, that's the way you bridge that gap is you build a team, right? Because now you want some, the income to become residual income versus having to sit there and say to yourself, well, I want $1,000. How many challenge packs would that have to be? Way too freaking many. And would you be able to serve those people? Would you be able to help those people? See, I loved when Beachbody taught me, listen, you get out there and you really dig your heels into helping people, right? Through the challenge group, through you no know, snooze crew virtual gym, through all the things that we have to offer. And you get those people started off right. Month after month, the three will compound, right? The first three will, you'll earn your $50 per person. The second, the second month, guess what? They're all staying on Shakeology because they're loving their, cha their challenge, they're getting results. So you start earning those three commissions off the Shakeology. Plus you have three more people now that earn, give you $50 for their challenge packs. And you see how that starts to compound, compound. And you start building a business where you're focused on three or more people a month that you're helping. That felt sound to me inside. That made me feel like I was making a difference. That did not make me feel like, holy crap, how am I gonna make this income goal that I have for myself out there being a selling machine? Cause I was very unattracted to being anything in sales. It was never my gig. But when I realized this wasn't about sales, but out there helping people, inspiring people just the same way that I was, how it organically happened for me, that's where I could wrap my mind and my heart around what I was doing. So Success Club is, a, is the foundational piece to what we do. And if you want to grow your income, you once you join our team, you'll be very much Success Club focused, okay? Then second day, we just talked about this, building your team, because that's what's going to create the team cycle bonuses. It's what's going to start giving you those leadership bonuses. And also... Fun fact about Beachbody, we are the only multi-level marketing company out there where all of the, the promos you see on, on Instagram, on late night infomercials, on the radio, wherever, the internet, someone goes right now to Beachbody.com and they purchase a challenge pack. Beachbody does not keep those customers. They turn around and spit those customers out to the coaching network. That's us. They are literally in collaboration with us. They want people helping people. They don't want people just buying off the internet and not getting results. That's why the coaching network is put into place. So I think it's such a beautiful thing because you're working in collaboration with a company that funnels shit ton of money <laughs> into advertising and all the technology and all the things that helps us build our business, all right? So building a team also leads you to getting those leads. We call them customer leads through the funnel system. And then lastly, how to grow your income, you keep going. The foundation of your business forever and more is your journey, right? You treat your business like a business. You go in and you decide to yourself, I'm going to lock eyes on whatever program it is that you're going to commit to. Kind of like my Insanity Asylum when I first came in, I'm like, I'm going to make this worth the credit card charge I just made. And I made it my J-O-B to get those results. And that's what catapulted my business forward. I treated it like my J-O-B. And from there, it started to evolve and become something. Keep going and treat this business like a business. Come in with the mindset and the determination and the discipline. And I promise, guys, this can be something extraordinary. And you'll see that happen. Very, you'll see that unfold very fast. Okay. Well, we said, treat this business like a business and it will pay like a business. All right, guys. So that answers all the questions on how we earn. <sighs> Gina, are you there? Where are you at? Where are you at? Unmute yourself, girl. So I'm here. So my yeah. story. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Gina Johnson, and um, I started uh, a little differently, but kind of similar. I'm very okay. It's my first time talking to nurse, but I started back in um, I think it was um, May, and I had Beach Body. My sister was doing it forever, and um, I had it using hers. I'm not gonna lie. But then I started, I jumped on and um, in May, I had lost my job due to COVID. I managed a dental office and I was a, um, we did implants. So we were very surgical. So we were the first ones to shut down completely. Like we were done, which is really funny because we were the ones always who were very, we were the first ones like secure. Like we always masked and gowned and, but we were the first ones to go down. So it, it was fine. And, um, but due to COVID, you know, we ate. We drank, we ate some more, we drank some more and the weight just came on. And um, Lauren, 
is my coach. She's my sorority sister also, known Lauren forever. She was in my wedding, like, you know, a hundred years ago. So we were always uh, cool and stuff. So she called me one day and she's just like, listen, I need you to do something with me. And I was like, okay, what do you want me to do? And she was just like, let's do 80 day obsession. We're not doing anything anyway. So I was just like, okay, 80 day obsession, not realizing it was a full 80 days and it was an hour long, but I was a gym rat. So, you know, in the gym doing, you know, two hours you could spend in the gym. So we did, we did 80 day obsession and we did it with a couple of other sorority sisters that we had in Chicago. So I live in New York. So, and Lauren is New Jersey. So we, we did it. We did 80 day obsession and, you know, complain the whole time I did it, but it happened to be one of my favorite things. You know, I was a soccer player in the past, um, you know, BC, I like to say, and a, a mambo dancer, BC, before children. And so my legs were my go-to things. And my legs, you know, here now were, I mean, the jiggle was just way too much for me. It was, it was a lot. So that was like one of my biggest downfalls. And doing 80 dip sessions was like, whoa, it was, it was life-changing. So one of my girlfriends who I play soccer with, one day when she noticed, she was like, girl, let's talk about your legs. I was like, yes, let's talk about them. Cause they were like, whoa. And I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. It was just like little things like that. And then my cousin in Florida was like, he was like, yo girl, let's talk about your little shoulder muscles. And then that was it. I was hooked. Like you couldn't, you could tell me like, you know, anything. It was like, oh, it was this and that. And then that was it. And then Lauren was just slowly just starting talking to me about like, you know, maybe you should talk about doing the business. And I was just like, ah, I don't know. Like I'm not a salesperson, which is funny because I can sell you a $60,000 implant case because it's a quality of life, but I couldn't do the dance energized drinks videos that everybody was doing. Like, that's just not me. It's not who I am. And I told her that I'm like, I can't do that. Like, I just can't do that. And she's like, you don't have to do that. You just do you just show up as you. So I was just like, okay. Then, then one day out of the blue, I was like, I was talking to my husband. I was like, I don't know. I could do that. You know, like I'm, I'm 50, I'm going to be 51 next month. And my husband's like, you've never had a problem reinventing yourself, reinventing what you do go out there, get any job you want, you know, like, like do it. I I'm a sports mom. My boys play soccer. They play basketball. And he's like, would you ever tell them to quit? And I looked at him and I was like, whoa, you want to throw that in my face like that? So I was just like, you're right. I'm, I'm not. So I called up Lauren and I'm what they called. I think at the, at the retreat, I was like that unicorn coach. Cause I called her up and I was just like, all right, what do I got to do? And she was like, are you serious? And I was like, no, no, for real, what are we going to do? So we did it. I signed up and there I was, I became a coach and I was just like, okay, now what do I have to do? She's like, go tell your story. And there I was the next day, every morning, I didn't know what to do with videos. I didn't know how to do it, but I posted a picture of me like, okay, I just had the best workout. Cause it was, cause you know what, before everybody got up to go do anything outside my work, I was done because it was in my living room and, and it was, and it was great. And after 80 day was done, we were like, okay, what are we going to do next? And then it was, okay, who was, who's calling me next? And then my cousin through marriage was like, what are you doing? I want to do it with you. I did beach body before. And that's not how I remember doing it. And I was like, well, you were doing it with the wrong person. And then she signed up and I was like, Hey, I could do this. And there she was. And then all of a sudden, like I had a business and you know, I, my husband was like, stay home with the kids because we don't know what we're going to do. My husband's job, he was making 20% of his entire salary. I had no salary, his salary. And I was like, okay. He was like, if you're going to make this work, then let's make it work. And I remember um, meeting Donna, who lives in Texas. I happened to just know her because we met on Facebook and I live in her old neighborhood. And she was like, well, sweetheart, you're not a part-time coach. You're a full-time coach. You know, this is your business now. So I was like, okay. So then Lauren was like, okay, so we got to work on you being a diamond. And I was like, okay, well, what do I have to do? And she was like, well, you need like 2000 more coaches. And I was like, what? And she gave me what I needed. And I was just like, okay, fine, let's do this. And she put me in the diamond thread or, and then, and then it was team cup and it was all this. And I was like, well, what do I have to do? She's like, you just got to show up every day. So here I've been showing up every day and you put your stuff out there, you show who you are. And I even have like my kids, the coaches to their teams, even on the rest day and I'll go to practice and they're like, oh, what happened? No workout today? And I was like, I had a rest day. We don't have rest days. How do you have a rest day? So you, even on my rest days, I have to literally post, I have a rest day, but I think I'm gonna do a stretch today because 
you know, they, they, they watch. So even if you don't think that they're watching, they're watching. My kids watch, my husband watches. And you know, you talk about getting up earlier. Um, I get up at 5.30 every morning. My kids have to be on the school bus. My kids' school day starts at 7.20. So I used to get up at like 6.30 to make sure they get up. No, now I get up at 5.30 just to make sure that I could get some sort of my workout in so that I can make sure that I have breakfast for them because they're not cereal kids. Like these kids are like waffles, bacon and eggs type of kids so that I can get them ready to go to school so that I can post a video so my day. And I have people that wake up or they'll call me, they're like, oh, Gina, I wake up every day because I know you're going to show up. Because I know that, so my kids will know that when I expect them to try harder is because I'm trying harder because I'm doing something for them. So Beachbody had ended up being something actually phenomenal for me because my job wasn't, the people at my job wasn't great. The people at my, my job was great, but the people that I worked with weren't really great. And this was great. When I walked into the retreat, I was very nervous. Nervous because I don't have a poker face. I'm not gonna lie to you. So if I don't like something, you're gonna see it. And I was very nervous going in and I told Lauren, you know, because I was afraid that if I didn't like somebody or somebody said something to me, I'm Puerto Rican Ecuadorian. I have a very, uh, this attitude that I was gonna walk in there. Somebody was gonna say something to me and I was gonna be like, oh, I gotta go home. But that wasn't the case. When I walked in there and I saw Veronica and I saw Monica and the, the smiles, I was like, oh, I knew I walked into the right place. And these are people, I live in New York and these girls were from Florida and they're from stuff. And I was just like, I mean, I knew Liz, we had done team come together. So like, this is, if you're going to do a coaching, this is the place to do the coaching. These people are behind you hundred percent. You have a question, they're going to answer your question. You know, you, you're going to, you need help. Like I have problems. I could talk all day long. Like I could sit here and talk all day long, but you have problems like with wording, which I have a problem with. You know, like I'm dyslexic, so I do have problems with wording. And, but they're there, they're there. I mean, people I've met one time, you know, they're like, Gina, I got you. You know, you wanna use this, use this. I mean, I remember sitting outside with Meech and we were talking about, you know, we were having issues with like the COVID and, and we sat down and we talked about it and she made me feel so comfortable. And, and, that's, and that's hard, cause you know, I'm an old lady, I'm setting my ways and, and you know, and it's, it's great. And they were like, you're really 50? And I'm like, yeah, I'm, you know, you, you're working. And, and I'll never be a size two, and I'm good with that. I just need to be a healthy person. And that's what I try to tell people also. So with that being said, I was very surprised when Monica asked me to talk and I was like, wow, but I do. I, I, I ended up loving everybody that was there and, and being a coach, this is the place to be if you really truly want to be a coach. And this is a team to do it on. And it's, they're, they're phenomenal. And, and I have people contacting me every day and they're like, wow, I want to do what you do. And I'm like, all I do is show up every day. It's nothing I do spectacular, but you know, if, if you want, this is, this is the place to be. So I, I do appreciate everybody. Thank you for having me talk. Um, and um, we love you, Gina. We love you so much. <laughs> but yeah, if any questions, I mean, I'm on Instagram, you can ask me anything wholeheartedly. I'll tell you anything, but yeah, these, these this is the place to be. Thank you so much for that, Gina. You. you guys realize why I wanted her on here. I want uh, you to see, you are the definition of what Beachbody is all about, Gina. And I love, I first of all, she, like she said, we met for the first time last week, right? We know each other virtually. Right. I didn't even know she was 50. I'm like, damn, you got, girl, you got it going on. Like you look amazing, first of all, but you've also been putting in the work and you know, to you're not the only person that has that story where COVID got to them being home and life just like halting um, and, and, and the stresses of, I, I have friends and family where I hear stories, they were losing their jobs, your income wasn't coming in. And then you start turning to, you know, and food and, and all these things that people went through. It was a lot to handle. And to hear that you're a person that went through kind of those motions, you and your husband getting, you know, hit financially with the crisis and, the, and your, your attitude and the way that you're so positive and the way that you're so like, we're moving forward no matter what and how you still carry your, your kids as the forefront of like, I can't quit because how am I gonna tell them to keep fighting for whatever they want if I am I'm not out here quitting, you know? And not pushing forward. And to see what you've done in the short amount of time that you've been a coach. How long have you been a coach? Say it again. Since May. May. And look what she's done. 
It's been extraordinary. So I wanted you guys to meet Gina because it, I get it. It can be intimidating when you look at someone with 10 years under the belt, looking at me with five years under the belt. You probably met my sister before who also, I don't know, I think it's like six, seven years already. Know that there's longevity in this. There is so much possible for you to do, but I also want you to meet someone who just got started and what that looks like too, and how you can build off of that and continue to be part of something big. While I always say you earn as you learn, right? You're able to go as you grow. And that's a beautiful thing where you're changing your life literally from the day that you start. So Gina, thank you so much. Meech, thank you so much. I love you guys. We are Team Diesel Core. We hope to see you announced as the next coach on our team. Please reach out to the person who invited you here today. If this is where you want to be at, if this is what you want, the kind of community you want to lock arms with, write to them right now. Like, I am in. What's the next step? And they will get you started. With that, I'll say good night. And once again, thank you for being here with us tonight. Good Bye, ladies. Thank you. Yeah.